Hello and welcome to Knit Grit. My name is Cody Lee and in today's video we're going to go over uh, wrapping our yarn and how that can change the look of our amigurumi. So quick story time. I, when I first started to crochet, I learned the wrong way because I'm dyslexic. I always learned to yarn under, which is not traditional. Basically most people when they crochet, let me grab this hook real quick, they typically will yarn over from right to left because i'm dyslexic i learned from left to right and just plucking i did the same thing with my knitting and eventually it took me about a year or two i'm about 12 years into my knitting uh experiences basically i learned when i was uh, just getting out of high school and basically i f i figured out that what i was doing was not technically wrong i kind of just stayed with it because i liked how this looks generally but it is, there's actually a term for it. I always thought I was being super fancy. No, of course not. If you're doing something with crafting and you think that like, oh, this is a new technique, it exists. I can almost guarantee you, you just need to find the name for it. But basically I wanted to show you four different ways that you can do your amigurumi for your single crocheting. Basically, when you're doing yarn over versus yarn under, a yarn over, yarn over, is a v stitch for your single crochet this is traditional so this is yarn over and this is yarn over and you can already tell the differences here so if you look at these which one would you say is probably better for amigurumi i always would say the yarn under yarn under which is what i traditionally did but this is what's traditional for doing your single crochets when you're working with something other than amigurumi the downside to yarn over yarn over so the downside to going from left to right, which is traditional, is you end up with these stitches that are big and floppy. So all four of these balls were done with this pattern right here, just quick little uh, 30 increase ball, went around for six rounds and then I decreased. And I went through the front loop only for all of them. So the only difference between each of these balls is how I wrapped them. These are gonna be what you traditionally come through, but I wanted to show you other versions too, just because I'm a little extra like that. Sorry for the ramble. But basically, when you yarn over, yarn over, you go like this into your work and yarn over from left to right, pull through. And then on the second time, you yarn over like so. With that stitch, you wind up with a ball that looks like this. And working through the front loop only minimizes your uh, the spacing in your stitches, but even then, you can still see that there's some serious spacing in between these stitches, and you can see the stuffing on the underside. I don't know, I just don't like this for my amigurumi. This is what's traditional. This is called the V stitch, doing a yarn over and then doing a yarn over. Over here, you have the yarn under, yarn under, excuse my handwriting, I know it's pretty garish, but essentially with a yarn under, yarn under, you go from left to right and you pluck, and then you go from under again and you pluck. This I like for traditional amigurumi. This is what I typically always did, and I always knew that there was a difference between these two, and this is called an X stitch. What's lovely about the X stitch is if you look at these stitches, this looks more like a Y or a V and there's no little space there so you can really see through it and that is what you don't want for your amigurumi. So here with the X stitch, you wind up with more fabric kind of hiding in the center and I also find that it is a bit more tightly wound. This is what I prefer for my amigurumi. But just for giggles, I was like, well, what would happen if you yarn under, yarn over? And what would happen if you yarn over, yarn under? I know that doesn't look like a you, it's a, it's a you. So what would happen if you did that? So just for giggles, I decided to try it out. So here with this one, the yarn over and yarn under, what you would do to create a ball that looks like this. And actually, I really like this. I like this a lot. It looks a bit more tight and a little bit more round. So I may actually start implementing this more, but this was just an experiment for me. Basically to yarn under. So you go into your work, you yarn under, pull it, and then yarn over and do the opposite. And that stitch gives you what is this pink one right here. And I really like how that looks. So let's do that again. So yarn under and then yarn over and that flips it. It doesn't look quite as bubbly 
as this amigurumi. So if you're looking for a bubblier amigurumi and you like how this looks more, definitely do the yarn under, yarn under. This is the yarn under, yarn over. Traditionally, you'll see the yarn under, yarn over as the X stitch as well. So people will either do the yarn under, yarn under, or they'll do the yarn under, yarn over over i hope that makes sense i'm saying yarn a lot in this video but this is traditionally what you'll see as the x stitch both of these are an x stitch and they are lovely and they work better for your amigurumi and then just for lulz just for the giggles of it i decided to do a yarn over yarn under and this is my least favorite out of all of them essentially for a yarn over you go in you go yarn over from right to left and then yarn under and go like that still this one is probably my third ranking, so this one is probably honestly going to be my first. I think this one looks the best. And then, I think this one, which is what I traditionally do. I decided to do that as an experiment, and honestly, I may start working that. This one is still going to be third. And then the last one for Amigurumi, I would suggest, is doing yarn over, yarn over. And essentially that is what this video is all about. I wanted to kind of talk about it, uh, really explain what this looks like when it comes to amigurumi. I decided just to make a little quick guy here and this is a quick video, just kind of talking about yarn over, yarn over. So yarn over, yarn over, you go yarn over and yarn over from right to left. For a yarn over, yarn under, you go in and go yarn over, pull through and then yarn under like so and you can already see the differences between all of these stitches they just don't look right here's my traditional where i go yarn under and yarn under and then this one which i think i may start working with more depending you can totally see the difference of sizes in all these balls these are all the same exact pattern just the way that you wrap your yarn can change everything this one is yarn under and then yarn over and those make the X stitches. And these are more towards the traditional V stitch. I've also heard them called Y stitches. So I don't know if you know more about that down below, let me know. Basically that's it. If you wanna know more introductory stuff like this, the X versus the V stitch or Y stitch, depending on where it's regional, I'm sure. Um, but basically if you wanna see more stuff like this, let me know. I'm gonna be posting this cute little uh, spider plush tutorial coming up soon. I'm also working on a, an adorable little bat. He's so cute and you can go on my discord right now if you're interested in the draft pattern for that. I'm attempting to figure out how to uh, phrase how I do the wings. Essentially I'm kind of just flattening it and then going across the stitches and I don't know how to write that. I'm essentially doing that closer, obviously. I don't know how to phrase that in pattern form. So if you've got a good idea on that, let me know and join our Discord server. Uh, we have a Patreon if you're interested in that. And that's pretty much it. Be sure to hit the like button, do the bell before you leave if you're interested and uh, want to see more videos like this. All right. Until next time, guys. Bye.